Port Angeles bills itself as the authentic Northwest. One of the structures representing this authenticity is the former Port Angeles Fire Hall. Completed in 1931, the Art Deco Fire Hall was intended to serve as part of a city government campus. In the 1920s, we had a very proactive city council and they wanted to have a whole new city structure here. This building was to be the fire department and then there was to be a building facing the street that was City Hall and then there was another building that was the police department. But Depression era budgets squashed that plan, leaving the fire hall to multitask as the city council chambers and the city jail. So this became where we're standing. This was the fire department. Upstairs was the city council chambers. And around back was the police department. Everyone came here. You came here to pay your light bill. You came here to city council meeting. If Uncle Joe drank too much on Saturday night, he, he went it around back. I mean, everyone came here. And this was the pride of Port Angeles. The fire department is steeped in history. We are very proud of our history. Uh, it's a large part of how we operate from generation to generation, guys teaching the younger guys and, and including history in it. So seeing a building like this, you know, and the history that it, it has within its walls is, is cool for us. Although the fire department relocated to a larger facility by the early 1950s, the building retained its utility, later serving as the city's first YMCA, the city sanitation department, a senior center, and, until closing in the mid-2000s, a cafe. I would like to see it be a union hall for the fire department, pizzeria, and bar. You know, that, I would love to see something like that. I'd like to see maybe some sort of a community gathering spot. Something that, that draws people to it, but also takes advantage of the historic district. It's on the main street of our community. What more could you want? And to have it in this corridor with all the green space, there could be all kinds of wonderful, wonderful things. I'd love to see a children's museum in this location next to the Carnegie Museum and the courthouse and just have it all flow together to make it a really appealing place for people to come to and learn the history of the building. There's a, a number of things that really could come in here. There was a bakery here at one time, a dance studio. You want something in here that's going to draw the, the public to this area. I think the great hope was that if somebody would buy it with the liking of the city to have offices. This would be really uh, a good area for a group of lawyers to come in because they're right next door to the courthouse. Whatever we do, it has to maintain the historic ambiance. Challenges do exist for reuse of the fire hall. The costs for Shell and Core upgrades are over a million dollars alone. To spend that kind of money for restoration here, it would take a partnership to find somebody to put the money into it is a challenge. We need to stabilize the building. It needs a new roof immediately and then we need new, new infrastructure and that's, that's our challenge. Undaunted, city and county officials continue to champion rehabilitation. Historic buildings traditionally give a lot of ambiance and a lot of culture to a community. To have this as part of that history just really adds to that vibrancy of a, of a good historic district. This building is on the National Historic Register. It's too precious to lose. We need to restore it and we need to use it and we want to put it back into our community. Returning the fire hall to active use would complement the dramatic effect the Port Angeles Downtown Association has had on revitalizing the city's Main Street business core. We couldn't build what's here now and to have that just enriches the place. It doesn't make it look like every other downtown. It's our downtown because it's historic to where we are.